Hello friends, this is Kim from The Beauty Biz, and today I'm going to talk to you about a quick tip on um, doing our roots here. So for us um, middle-aged ladies that have to deal with gray, this is a good tip video. But just like you guys seen last week, it was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm making a video. I got all these roots showing. But the first thing, the tip that I do want to give you is to always brush through any tangles, always color hair when it's dry. So we're going to brush through it really quick. As you can see, I don't always color my whole hair when I am doing my roots. I only do the roots and it's really quick. It's not complicated and it is less messy if you do the quick tip that I'm about to show you. And you know how you go to the salon and they've got the cotton strip that they put um, around your hairline and um, around the back of your ears to keep the color from um, dripping or staining your face. And this is a quick tip. We're going to use just regular Vaseline petroleum jelly. Okay. And we're going to take it and we're doing it all along the hairline around the back of your ears and even on the back of your neck because like I said I'm only doing the roots and if you have long hair then you need to watch and where you're put, putting the color but if you do it on the front and back of your ears and the back of your neck then you know you will have no color bleed around okay that's the first tip and the second tip is you, um, the at-home kits always come with gloves. So you mix it as usual uh, per your instructions on the box and um, give it a good shake. We are going to cut off the tip with scissors. And I always cut further down the bottle just to be able to get more out at a time so it doesn't take me as long and it doesn't kill my arm while I'm trying to squeeze out all this product. And if you know anything about new growth, it is more resistant, and also gray hair is more resistant. So I always leave it on for longer, but I always start at the front where I have the most roots showing. And I'm just going to dab it on. Be careful, do not get below your Vaseline line. And we're going to go all around the hairline first with the product and just kind of gently rub it in like so. I can't believe I'm even letting you guys see how bad I've let my hair got. This whole coronavirus and staying home, it's like if you're not really going anywhere, I guess why bother? But I'm taking it after I do the hairline. Okay. And now if you ladies wear your hair up a lot, you're going to have a completely different process, but I never really wear my hair up. So my roots are really never showing that much, but I'm taking the bottle and I am gliding it down right from my hairline to my crown, back and kind of rubbing it in, back and rubbing it in, back and rubbing it in. And this is a quick process. The quicker that you, quicker that you do it, the better. And right here at the front where it always tends to fade faster, I kind of make bigger puddles or globs, I guess you could say. But like I said, I'm going down the sections of hair just until I get to the back from hairline to crown, hairline to crown, hairline to crown, hairline to crown. There's no need to section. You can do that if you want to. But see, I had it on my face. Just a quick swipe of the glove, and it is gone. Okay, so for the under hairs, I'm going to just take this and put it right on the hair, or you can squeeze it into your palm and just wipe it on the hair, on the roots that are showing underneath. And just kind of gently pull through. And 
and for resistant gray hair, I leave this on almost an hour, but you guys don't have to leave it on an hour if you don't have resistant gray hair. I'm just going to take the back around my neckline and do that real quick. Just kind of give it a good squeeze. Make sure it's all evenly distributed from the hairline to the crown. And some hair kits um, offer um, little bags that you can use, and some do not. But like in the salon, we used to pile the hair up and put a heat bag and put people under the, the dryer. But I don't do that. It, um, it's not something that you can really do at home unless you want to put it up in a cap and blow dry it. But I'm going to leave this on my hair for, like I said, an hour. But I will come back when my hair is all done and let you guys see the after results. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Hello, this is Kim, back again from the Beauty Biz. As you can see, I've washed all the color out of my hair, and what I just wanted to show you, get a little bit closer, is look, no stains on the skin, because we used the Vaseline tip earlier. So now, um, after... I rinse, we've put the two minute conditioner and you know never ever ever to wash your hair for 48 hours after doing any kind of chemical treatment, whether it's a perm or a color and um, condition as often as you need to um, after that. But of course, it, um, you need to use a color treated shampoo and conditioner if you are going to um, constantly dye your hair. So just remember these few tips that I've given you. I hope you've enjoyed the video this week. You guys enjoy your summer. And as always, remember KimsBeautyBiz.com for all your beauty, fashion, and skincare needs. Much love.